old and with the new, let's get rid of this junk. Chesapeake Bay Dead Rise, and we have made some headway on where we were at with the project the last time we had a video. Um, a couple weeks ago, Mike and I started uh, laying out pieces from our table offsets that we made. Um, we were here in the shop. We cut our CUSA board to make our side panels. We then scarfed those, which is a, uh, a taper joint, so we couldn't get a full-length panel out of one sheet, so we had to put two together. We epoxied that, put some fiberglass on it. And then we started laying out uh, our framework on a strong back, pretty typical for most boat construction, even though we don't have a whole boat going here. We put this all together, again, based on our table of offsets to give us everything we need to rebuild the top. Uh, okay, Mike, today we're going to work on making the deck beams and cutting the camber on those so we can put together our two layers of CUSA board for the forward deck. Uh, we're going to vacuum bag that. So we set up with our uh, batten on the material we're going to use to saw to the camber and the other day we were working on that so tell us a little bit about how we came up with the, the camber for this deck. We went out and looked at the old top and figured out that had like about a three quarter inch camber in it. Which really isn't very much when you look at it it almost looked flat. Yeah but no water can run off and probably that's probably why that damage was all done on the top too. Right. So we uh, grabbed this two by four that was half maybe a ten foot long and it on the jig and then set the first piece of the kusa that we cut out before we even glued them and sat back and looked at it and the, the camber looked really good so, so that's what we're going to run with so and it just happens that two by four is inch and a half and so that's where we came up with our maximum point for the height of the camber on this it goes down to nothing and we have we have a series of frames set up inside here and we set those up before we bent the sides around it and so we'll just cut these arches to go on top of those frames that way when we lay our layers of CUSA here, it supports it. So hopefully we won't have to use these in the long run because... That's the idea, yeah. And I think um, we're going to have two half-inch layers of CUSA, but we'll also sandwich in some layers of um, 1708 glass, which is the, the biaxial weave with the mat under it. So it should be a really strong construction. Um, we'll, we'll get it in the vacuum bag and out, and we'll test it for strength, and if we have to add more to it, we can do that, by hopefully eliminating those deck beams underneath. For, um, in this case, really just um, jig pieces for uh, making the top uh, cut to length. We're now going to cut across the length of these on the lines we established with our batten for our curve. And we'll do this on the bandsaw. <laughs>
now have our deck beams cut out for our three frame locations. We can kind of lay these in place and you can see about how the shape of this top will actually be formed. It's about right there. Once we laminate it together and bend it down and in between those two layers of laminate, we'll have the epoxy adhesive and that will go in the vacuum bag and that vacuum bag will compress the two layers together. So we get nice adhesion all the way across the whole thing. There'd be no way to, to clamp this and have good adhesion um, with any other method, uh, unless you had a, a form that squeezed it completely all the way over, but the vacuum bag does that. That epoxy will set up, be nice and stiff. Hopefully we'll keep that shape without adding, having to add too much more to the structure. So you can see kind of how that curve is gonna develop over that now. Next time, we're going to be vacuum bagging the top with the beam supports. That's right. Uh, two layers there. We're probably we're going to add a layer of glass in there. So we're going to have a lot of uh, resin moving quickly, and uh, we'll get a little bit of the construction of the vacuum bag involved so those who are not familiar with it can kind of see what we're going to be doing there. Next time, it should be a pretty interesting video. See you soon.